right here, I've got a nice 21, 22. Check that out. That is an old, an old ring. We are in the great state of Wisconsin. I always come up here at the end of September, the 1st of October. It's not as cool as it usually is, but it's very nice. It beats East Texas weather for sure. Trees are just now beginning to turn and the air is crisp and, and it just feels so good. And I'm on location today at this early 1900 schoolhouse. So I've got a little bit of property around here I'm gonna do. Then I've got some uh, condemned properties that FEMA has taken over because of a flood a couple years ago up here and, uh, and some more little houses that I'm going to be doing this week. I've got three days I'm going to be doing and so I uh, don't know what I'm going to get but I hope I'm going to get something good and so let's uh, get loaded up, let's get suited up, let's get uh, the detectors on and let's get out there and let's see what we can find. I'm going to be using my Equinox. I brought my red Equinox which is my main one but I also have my blue Equinox back here. Uh, as my backup and put my small coil on it. But I'm going to be hunting today just in uh, Park 1 with uh, just the uh, discrimination on the normal uh, setting. Uh, we're going to go down here and volume's going to be at 25, no threshold. We're going to, uh, the accept recovery is going to be negative 9. Recovery speed is going to be, uh, I'll leave it at 5 for right now. I like that. And uh, we'll uh, check out. Um, our sensitivity will run it up to about 22. All right, and so we're set and ready to roll, so let's go see what we can get. Well, I didn't really get anything over there at that schoolhouse. Uh, it had been some dirt work and they had filled it in and did some different stuff. I just got a lot of trash, some modern money, so I decided to move on and uh, came over here to this house here. And uh, I, dug, I did this house about uh, three years ago but it wasn't the house, it's actually this vacant lot right here behind me, right there. I got my first two cent piece, 1864 two cent piece. And so I decided to come back over here and kind of just killing some time and, and uh, just uh, going back over some areas I went over before I went to some of my new locations. And I just got a 2122 thinking it might be an Indian head penny because this is a real old house lot with an 1864 coin coming out of it. But I just found a gold ring. And so let me take you over there and let me show it to you. I found that two cent piece like right in here. And I've been just going back over this little area right here. I've done this house and that house and that lot. Found a great uh, watch fob down in there. And, uh, but right here, I've got a nice 21, 22. Check that out. That is an old, an old ring. So let me get set up with my other camera and we'll get a, a little bit better shot on this. Check that out. I like that. It's not pure gold. It's going to be gold plated, but hey, I like old rings. You can tell that's an old vintage ring. All right, let's get some pictures, get a close up, and let's keep on rolling. Well, I moved on from that other location. All I found there was just that, uh, gold, that ring, gold plated ring. And um, I don't even really know how old it is. It looks kind of old and vintage, but I'm really not sure until I cleaned it up a little bit. But anyway, uh, I'm moving on down here to a new location. I've got, uh, several years ago, there was a big flood here in town and uh, it flooded these houses out and it condemned them. And uh, now I got permission to come up on these houses. I've got one old house here that they've been started tearing down. But this house here looks really good. Definitely early 1900s home. It's got a sidewalk and there's a sidewalk right here if you can see it coming through here. And this is the old train track. That's a trail now called the old 400. And it's right here on, so there's no telling what may be out here. So we're going to give it a whirl and see what we can come up with. So far, it hasn't been too, too much of a productive day, but uh, maybe this house here will, will be the good one. Let's get at it. Check this out. It's getting 35 to a 29. Got that high pitch in there. All right. Let's... uh.
going to be about eight inches deep. That's going to be a good possibility of silver. So uh, let's get our mark. Let's get down there and see what it is. Well, they fool you every time until I'm in farming country. It's harvest season up here in Wisconsin. But uh, yeah, it's just going to be a quarter. Dinged it up a little bit. It's just modern. Let's keep going. Well, I'm just off to the left of this house, right of this house. Getting a very deep uh, 28, 29. Popped it up. I thought it was going to be kind of a... Uh, kind of a valve stem cover, cover, but I don't know what this is. It's uh, it's something that's got writing on it. It says uh, the Heeb, it says supply company, the Heeb company, wholesale automotive payment, Dubuque, Iowa, which is on the border of Wisconsin and Iowa. Very beautiful city. But uh, hey, I like something with writing. I'll clean that up later and see if we can't get all the writing on it uh, later on in the wrap up. All right, let's get a picture and let's keep on rolling. Well, I was getting work in this backyard, working the uh, clothesline. Got a 29 signal, about uh, six, seven inches deep. Going to be one of those uh, brass water nozzles. The brand is just right, patent. May have a date on it right there, but I collect these. I got about 50 or 60 of them. And boy, the thing about them is you can put them back on a wire brush wheel and they'll shine up just as good as new and they still work. So we'll add that one to the collection and we'll keep on rolling. Moved on to another location. Didn't find too much of that other house. Just Wheat Penny and, and uh, the stuff you saw wasn't a whole lot. Been having a real striking out time today, but I come back to this house here. This is a house last year I did a, um, a five Indian head spill out in the front yard. I'm on the side yard right now. Just kind of killing time and just kind of going over some area that I've gone over before. And I was getting a 28 and 29, real jumpy signal. Dug it up and check that out. I must have missed that. It's an old uh, barrel tap. You can see where it goes into the barrel there. The valve's missing and the tip's all covered up. But hey, I'll take that. That's a good piece. That's a good relic, piece of history. All right, let's keep on going. Let's see what else we can find. This is day two. I didn't really find a whole lot on day one. But that's the way it goes sometimes. I've got uh, a few more spots here on day two. I'm going to go back over the one lot where I went uh, last year and I found a lot of those uh, coins uh, from the surface grounds, those mercury dimes and, and uh, crotobell and everything else I found over there. I'm going to do that later on today. But today I have this vacant lot right here. And then I have also a vacant lot across the street that they condemned and removed the house. I've hunted that lot before and found some silver and some... Um, I think Indian and Buffalo Nickels and different things over there where that dumpster is. And uh, so I'm going to hit those two spots this morning, work myself on down to the other spot. And then I've got some more spots. I'm just kind of pacing myself a little bit. I'm not used to detecting right now in the, in, the, uh, in the heat and getting up and down. I'm a little sore today and I've been in the water all summer. And uh, that's a lot of different type of detecting that it is out here on the ground. But anyway, we're going to get on this house lot. I remember this house being here. It was a house, all these houses were like uh, 19, early 1900s, 19 to 1920. And uh, so I have no clue what we're going to find. So we're going to get out there and see what we can get. So let's get at it. Well, I moved on from that other lot over there. It's just too much. They've condemned these houses and they uh, tore them down and, and leveled the ground off. So it's filled dirt, just a lot of trash, not really find anything. But came back over here to this lot and uh, just kind of working the sidewalk right now. And I got me a 2122, kind of jumped around, but it's a good signal, but uh, really good find. Let me turn you around. Let me show you what I got. Some type of uh, brass triangle, and it's got like a cup on it there. Got something on it there, like a dagger right there, a crown, something on the corner, like a clover. I don't know if that's like a Masonic symbol or something. Sorry about the sound. I'm right here beside the road. But that's, uh, that's an interesting piece. 
I like stuff like this. This is definitely not turning out to be an old coin trip, more so just more of a relic trip for me. But check that out. If you know what that is, I'm going to look it up when I get home this evening. But if you know what that is, comment in the uh, comments and, and let me know if you recognize this. All right, let's get a picture. Let's keep on going. Well, I've keep working myself down up and down this row of houses. You can see I've been back down that way. And uh, the village here owns all of this property. And then I was talking to a friend of mine that uh, is the brother of the man that I'm staying with. He came up and shared with me that he had some more properties. And then we got to talking to this city employee that lives here. And uh, he lives at this house. And he owns another house down there and owns this house over here. And so I've got all these properties. And then I went and got me two or three more houses I'm going to be doing tomorrow. So I've got plenty to detect now. So anyway, I found my first silver. And uh, let me spin you around. Let me show you this. It was ringing up a 28.29. Wasn't very deep. Might be four inches deep. Looks like it's going to be a 1934 Mercury dime. All right. Uh, that's a good sign. Just got over here. Let's uh, take a picture and let's keep on rolling. Well, I'm right in front of the house. This house is very old. It's over 100 years old. I was getting a, a 19 to a 20, and uh, I thought it's going to be an Indian, and sure enough, it is going to be an Indian. My first Indian on this trip. It's in great shape, too. Look at that patina. 1905. 1905. I'll take that. All right, it's a good sign. Got a silver and Indian out here, so let's keep on going. Well, I just got a 27, 28, ringing up like that high tone that I like to hear. So uh, let's go down there and see it. Check that out. Y'all see it right there? Let's see what it's going to be. It's going to be a rosy. It's going to be a mercury. It's going to be a barber. And it's going to be just a rosy. Grab that rosy, 1953. All right. This house does date back to barber, so... I'll take that, though. It's silver. Let's get a picture and let's keep on rolling. All right, just working this sidewalk right in front, front of the house. Got a real scratchy 28 to 21, jumping up and down. But I heard that high tone in there and uh, dug it up and let me show you what it is. There it is right there. It's going to be a mercury dime. All right, I got a rosy. I got two mercuries. That's going to be a 19... 20, can you read it? 27, 21. Maybe over here you can get it. I can't see it, but maybe you can. 25, I don't know, something in 20. So we're getting back there too close to the barber. So now we just need to get a barber to get a dime trifecta. All right, let's get a picture and let's keep on rolling. Well, this is turning out to be a pretty good yard. I just uh, dug my, uh, turn you around, my other silver right there, and I just come right here. And I've got another one right here. Let me turn you around. Let me show you what I got. Again, it's not ringing up like a dime. I can barely hear just a little chirp in there. And so I don't know what this one's going to be, but I see it right there. It's going to be just another rosy. All right, I'm looking for that barber to get a tri dime trifecta, 1958. All right, let's get a picture and keep on going. That's four silvers out of here already. I've only been here about uh, 20 minutes. Well, I've been just working this front yard really well, and I got those five mercs, and I'm with the five dimes here, here three uh, three rosies and two uh, mercs, or no, three mercs and two rosies, and that Indian head, and um, and now I got another 14. I skipped over it earlier because I was just kind of digging the high tones, and I came back, and it was a solid 15, 14, 15, thinking it's going to be a pull tab, but it's not a pull tab. Check it out. Y'all see that? That is going to be a gold ring. Check it out, little gold knot ring. Yeah. Let me uh, let me clean it up and get back with you and see if we can uh, get any markings off of it. I'm not sure. Uh, it doesn't look gold plated. It looks gold. I don't see no markings on it. All right, I'll take a gold ring. That's my second ring up here I got, so 
Let's keep on going. Just popped it up, and I believe it's gonna be silver. Oh my goodness, y'all see that? 